Shalom. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Seth Weiner, and I am your rock as well as the co-host of the podcast Inside Out with Turner and Seth, part of Osiris Media. We want to welcome each and every one of you tonight to the virtual Seder, which is being broadcast via nugs.net and available to you all shortly after. Tonight, as we celebrate Passover, we ask you not only to celebrate the Passover Seder with us, so get those bottles of wine and join us, but also we invite you to help uh, in support Conscious Alliance. So it's been a tradition since the medieval times. For those of you that don't know the Passover story, story I'll tell you a little bit real quick here, right? Uh, the Passover Seder is a, is a festive meal. We're commanded to invite our friends, our acquaintances, and yeah, even strangers into our homes to be part of the festive Passover meal. Now that said, this year we're not able to do that. So we're bringing the Passover Seder to you. Uh, we're also going to be raising some money for Conscious Alliance. And if you're not familiar with Conscious Alliance, I encourage you to please check them out throughout the broadcast or right after. Conscious Alliance is music, art, food, action, and community. They're currently working to get more food to our community during this time of increased need. I mean, when you think of this need, think about all the schools that are closed, all of the food programs in those schools, the lunch programs, the backpack programs, these are no longer being provided. People are purchasing more food from grocery stores, which is increasing the demands of the companies to produce food. There's restaurant workers and musicians that are out of work, that can't afford food, that are now are increasing this demand. So we ask that you help Conscious Alliance tonight and think about how you might be able to help them because their staff is working tirelessly to do what they can do to continue serving the communities in crisis. I'll give you an example of some of the things they've done. Conscious Alliance has distributed over 320,000, that's right, 320,000 meals since the school closures began in mid-March. That's like unbelievable. They have developed new ways to reach families in need and have kept their warehouses open to continue to accept donations and to continue to move food. Uh, they are also supplying truckloads of food to school districts and resource centers across the U.S. Now is a time that you can help. And how? In the spirit of Passover, please consider making a donation, whatever the amount you're comfortable giving, to Conscious Alliance COVID-19 Response Fund. And you can do that online at ConsciousAlliance.org slash COVID-19. To think that just $1 can provide two meals. $1, two meals. Consider giving 18, which is high. And if you do that, that means double the meals, which is 36, double high. So again, ConsciousAlliance.org. COVID-19. The virtual Seder is not a traditional Seder, so if you're not Jewish, don't worry. This is, this is all fun, uh, and it's a, we, we want you to have an enjoyable night celebrating Passover with us. Uh, several musicians have contributed here, and comedians, of a medley of music and holiday wishes. So please, join us for the Passover Seder. Uh, we ask that you also please support these musicians on the virtual Seder, anyone that's on here, or any musician that, that, that you like that, that you used to see live. Please check them out via their tip jars on their streams everywhere else. And where do you find the streams? At jambase.com live streams. That's jambase.com slash live streams for an up-to-date calendar of all the live streams happening right now. So we're going to start our Seder the most appropriate way possible. By washing... Your hands. We're, <laughs> excuse me. I'm not, <laughs> I don't have COVID. Um, so we're going to start with washing our hands. And to do that, let's get started with, uh, let's go ahead and call it, let's go and bring together Josh and Sammy from Turquoise. And while, while, we're, while we're queuing them up, folks, uh, be sure to check out Turquoise's Nuns a Ton it's a live concert film available at turquoise.band.com. Uh, so it's a, this is a really well-produced live concert video. Uh, they were going to release this summer, but now uh, it's available online. So please check it out. But as we wash our hands, let's do so to Sammy and Josh doing their rendition of Sunrise, Sunset. Is this the little girl I carry? Is this the little boy at play? I don't remember growing older. When did they? 
When did she get to be a beauty? When did he grow to be so tall? Wasn't it yesterday when they were small? Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Sammy. That was lovely. Put tears in my eyes. Um, okay, well, you all know Passover. Passover is where we drink four cups of wine. Four cups of wine. Who better to start us off with our first cup of the four cups of wine than Andy Frasco, who's going to bring us into his new home right there in Denver, Colorado. Now be sure to keep an eye out on his social media for Andy's World Saving Shit Show, which is streaming Thursday evenings. Also, he's got the podcast, World Saving Podcast, and all the places you'd find podcasts. Oh, and let's not forget their new album, Keep On Keeping On, coming out April 24th. You can listen to two of their first singles off that album at andyfrasco.com. Now, Andy, I know... Um, you like your wine? Well, you, you like Jameson a little more than wine. I, I like wine because my last name is Weiner. So for our first cup, L'chaia, my friends, pour yourself a glass and let us all enjoy as we go to Andy Frasco's. Can't even fit this fucking thing on. <laughs> hey guys, it's Andy Frasco. Uh, happy Passover, everybody. This is the the fucking quarantine Passover, dude. Yeah. It's my best friend Dolov. Pesach Samath. Pesach Passover. What's that mean? Pesach is Passover in Hebrew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Jewish. Um, but we're here. Um, we got fucking matzah. And we got Beyond Burgers, because that's the type of mother 
Efforts we are. I don't know if it's a kids show or not. So what do we do? We're gonna. This is our bread. Yeah, we're gonna make a burger using matzah instead of bread because Passover we don't eat bread. We uh, escaped uh, Pharaoh and um, yeah, we didn't, didn't have, have enough time. We didn't have enough <laughs> time, time to make some uh, bread. some resin or what, what? What is it? Resin? Uh, no, leaven. Leaven. But the bread leaven. So we uh, we had to rush out. And we got. Matzah instead. We're, we're Jews, so we eat hummus too. <laughs> Fucking rock and roll. So, okay. ladies and gentlemen, hope you have a great Passover. I got my uh, yam- my tie dye yarmulke because we're in the um, we're we're tie dye hippies up in this motherfucker. Hope you guys are safe. Be well with your families. Cheers, Dolop. Thanks for uh, coming to quarantine with me. Um, I'm gonna drink this. <laughs> Thanks for coming to quarantine with me. Cheers. Love you, buddy. Happy Passover, Happy Passover. Passover. Have a great one. Why, thank you so much, Andy. You know, Andy's right. It's a Manischewitz kind of night. I don't know. I've had this Manish- bottle of Manischewitz since I was uh, probably in college, doing the annual Burning Bush Stone Saders. Those of you that are there know. Uh, but uh, hey, you know what? I'm not drinking this tonight. I think I'll save it for my son's bar mitzvah. And now let's go to Scott Rogowski, former host of HQ Trivia, to do the four questions. Oh, hello, ladies and Gentiles, goys and Jews. It is I, the biblical Bob Barker, the Hebrew Steve Harvey, the Meshuggah Martindale, the Semitic Sajak, the kosher Conan Shtick Cavett, a.k.a. Scott Rogowski, former host of HQ Trivia, current host of the four questions during tonight's virtual Seder. Look, I cleaned up nice, even shaved for this occasion. Now, normally and traditionally, the four questions are asked via song by the youngest child. It's likely not me tonight, but I probably am the best qualified in the question asking department. So here it is. Here we go. The four questions being served up by me to you, Manish Tana Halila Hazeh, with a little help, from my friends. So why is this night different from all other nights? Besides the fact that we are stuck in isolation, quarantined during this global pandemic? Well, let's find out. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get these questions on the road. Cumero numero uno. Why is it on all the nights, we don't dip vegetables even once? Yet tonight, we're dipping them twice? For the answer, let's turn to Rob Turner of Inside Out with Turner and Seth on the Osiris Podcast Network. As we learn from Seinfeld, double dipping is a bit of a no-no in the Jewish community in general. But on Passover, it's okay. The first dip is to represent the awfulness of being enslaved in Egypt many, 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 many years ago. You don't ever want to be enslaved anywhere but in Egypt. Come on. Second dip is to represent the bricks that were used while they were enslaved. So it's basically a freedom thing. It's basically saying... Look, we're free to sit here with our friends, either by the internet in times of pandemics or with everyone around us, like Seth often does here in Atlanta. He invites people of all faiths, and, and it's kind of in the same spirit as a cyber seder. Just to have the freedom to do that is a, is a gift. It's a beautiful thing. Yet there's never more of a time to realize that now. Any time you get to spend with friends is a gift. Is that clear now? Is it clear now that we're stuck in our homes? So on this Passover, remember, appreciate those around you, appreciate the freedom to have time with them, and appreciate that you're not enslaved. Appreciate that you do the work you love. You can go in and put on a TV show or movie that you love. You can do what you want, when you want. Freedom. It's a beautiful thing, and it should be celebrated. God bless you. Have a great Passover. Now that's how you answer a question. Cumero numero tumero. Why is it on all their nights we eat both hummets and matzah? But tonight, we're eating just the matzah, that unleavened stuff. For the answer, here's comedian and fairly recent fish fan, Nate Fritzen. The Passover matzah, it's a symbol, you know? Some people love it, even more people think it's okay. What I always heard the reason for the Passover matzah is that uh, long ago, the Hebrew people were slaves in Egypt and they were being freed from bondage. As you often do, you have to flee when that happens. And when you flee, you don't really get to do things on your schedule. It kind of happens as you are allowed to get out of there. So they didn't have, they wanted, they had to make snacks for the road. They were, they didn't know how long they were going to be on the road. So they wanted a fast and easy snack to make. And of course that's 
you take bread. They had the, the dough that they would normally let rise for longer, but again, they were fleeing. So they had to take the dough, put it directly on their backs, and have it bake in the sun. The sweat from the back never got into the dough to season it in transit. The reason we have it today is because Jews, as you know, uh, have never let anything go, ever. We remember everything and we will remind you of it forever. And so that is why we are eating matzah every year, forever. Hag Sameach, everybody. Happy Passover. Thank you, Nate. By the way, if you find yourself wandering the desert for 40 days or 40 nights or stuck in this quarantine for another 40 days and 40 nights, check out Nate's comedy on iTunes or Spotify. It'll keep you doubled over during Passover. We're at the halfway point, folks. So far, no savage questions. Let's see what number three has in store. Why is it on all other nights we eat many vegetables, but on this night, we eat that bitter, bitter herb, maror? For the answer, we're going all the way to Los Angeles, where Mike Berkey of The Alligators and Painted in Light is standing by. Mike? On all other nights, we eat all types of vegetables. On this night, only bitter herbs. Aurora. That bitterness signifies a time when we were just slaves to the Pharaoh. Slaves to the Pharaoh. Tunes. This is the headiest four questions I have ever heard. And by the way, Painted in Light's debut EP will be available on all streaming networks come April 17th. That's the day after Passover ends, so some good leavened listening right there. And now, it all boils down to this, the fourth and final question of this Seder 2020. Why is it that on all other nights, we're sitting and eating and drinking, and most of us are just sitting, but tonight... We're all reclining. Yeah, Slouch City! Because back in the ancient times, the free people reclined, and the slaves hmm. So <laughs> Now, Daryl, can you close us out with the Bamnish Chana? The uh, first question? Yeah. Manishtana halaya haze miho halelo miho halelo Wonderful. What uh, message do you want to give everyone, Daryl, uh, to wish them a happy Passover? I don't know. Easter's coming up. Well, there you have it, folks. My thanks to Daryl, Mike, Nate, and Rob for giving us the 411 on the four questions. Until I see you next time, I bid you a Chag Sameach, a happy Passover. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay savage, everybody. Next year, in Jerusalem, or literally anywhere else but in our apartments. Well, thank you, and thank you, Daryl, my son, for uh, doing the Manish Chana. Normally, would be around the whole table and have all the kids and the youngest kid would be the one to do it. And that would be my son this year. So, uh, so yeah, Whoa, just put a little wine there. Speaking of wine is a good thing. There's only a little left there because it's time for the second cup of wine. Second cup. If you haven't gotten your second cupper, get it out now. Let's time to fill your wine. You know what though? Let's have Benny Bloom, speaking of wine, right? Benny Bloom from Lettuce. Let's go ahead and check in with him because there isn't anyone more appropriate to have than Benny Bloom, the trumpet player for Lettuce, to lead us in our second cup of wine. When it comes to wine, let me tell you something. Benny sure knows because both he and saxophonist Orion Zoidis, the horn section essentially from Lettuce, they recently launched a wine distribution company. Mm-hmm. Benny and Zoid Selections. Also, you can find that at BennyandZoidSelections.com. Uh, so look, as they say best, 
do you want to drink? No, how do they say? He wouldn't say it like that. He says, I'm like, do you want to drink dope, organic, low sulfite wine at home, but your local stores doesn't have any? Or you just don't know what to get. Well, I know what to get. I'm a whiner. But they say, let us send some to you. Let us. Yes, that's, yes, that's right. Let us, my people, go. We teamed up, they teamed up, I should say, with the Proper Pour, an amazing Denver store that can ship wine to pretty much most states. So you can check that out. Go order your wines because you're going to finish them all tonight. Uh, so go ahead and order your wines at BennyAndZoidSelections.com. So Benny put something together for us to enjoy our second cup of wine. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the man that blooms all year round, Benny Bloom. Lachai and Benny, thank you so much for that. That was really, really, really nice. Hey, why don't we check in with Conscious Alliance? Folks at home, if you haven't given yet, I ask you please consider giving to the Conscious Alliance COVID-19 Response Fund online. And you can do so at ConsciousAlliance.org slash COVID-19. But to tell us a little bit more, let's go meet their executive director, Justin Levy. Hi, my friends. I hope this note finds you well and at home. I wanted to let you know that the Conscious Alliance team is healthy. They're rocking and rolling. They're working tirelessly to meet the needs of our community. Last month, we were able to provide over 320,000 meals to those in need. With school closures and layoffs, our work becomes more important than ever. I know that there's a lot of wonderful nonprofits out there deserving of your donation. And I ask that you continue to stand in alliance with us and choose Conscious Alliance by making a donation today. Together, we're going to continue to make a huge difference in the lives of others. Thank you. And that was Justin with Conscious Alliance. Thank you so much. They're doing such amazing work. It's just unbelievable. Um, and I know it can't be easy right now for the work to be done. And it can't be done without your help. So again, at home, if you haven't done so, please consider giving to Conscious Alliance COVID-19 Response Fund online at ConsciousAlliance.org COVID-19. So ConsciousAlliance.org slash COVID-19. Hmm, what's Passover without the story of the 10 plagues? Well, it's really more like 11 this year, I know, right? So, the 10 plagues. Let's go ahead and talk about the 10 plagues because there was blood, there was frogs, there was lice, 
there was flies, there was pestilence, there was boils, there was hail, there was locust, there was darkness, and the killing of the firstborn. Representing the bands of Disco Biscuits, Spaga, and pretty much the entire Northeast jam band scene, let's now enter into the living room of Aaron Magner. And if you like what you hear and you want to learn more from this master himself, Aaron Magner is now teaching lessons at Live Lesson Masters. Dot com. Now, it's said that God sent the angel of death to kill the firstborn sons of the Egyptians. God told Moses to order the Israelite families to, to sacrifice a lamb and to smear the blood on the door of their houses. This is why the festival really celebrates the escape from Egypt, which is known as Passover. I'm told now that Aaron Magner has put blood on his door this year so to keep out COVID. Now, not counting the, the current plague, there are 10. And to get us through these plagues, Magner's rendition of Let My People Go. Happy Passover, everybody. Stay well, stay safe, stay sane. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much, Aaron Magner. Wow, that was wonderful. And the facial expressions, he really got, he really got it for us. Um, let's go ahead and now tell the Passover story. This is the part of a normal Seder that's gonna take forever. But somehow, Ori and Torini from Southern Avenue were able to go ahead and condense that for us in a song that just shares the feeling and spirit of Passover. Or he happens to be Israeli, so when we say at the end, next year in Jerusalem, that probably means to him like, hey, I'm going to go home and visit my family. Um, if you haven't checked out Southern Avenue yet, please do. They have a new album that came out not too long ago called Keep On. It's amazing. It was actually nominated for a Grammy this year, so uh, if you haven't heard it, check it out. Uh, here's a little number they want to share, like I mentioned with you all, really giving you the Passover spirit. And if you haven't donated yet, please consider making a donation to Conscious Alliance COVID-19 Res Response Fund online at ConsciousAlliance.org slash COVID-19. Here's a little Southern Avenue. <laughs> Oh, 
stamina you get what you put out you get what you put out you gotta keep on you gotta keep on you gotta keep on oh you get what you put out you get what you put out you gotta keep on you gotta keep on you gotta keep on oh When you hit rock bottom, it ain't got nowhere to go. Ain't got no other options. You either climb for your life or you die real slow. You ain't going till you got it all to lose. And when enough's enough, oh baby, I gotta have stamina. You get what you put out. You get what you put out. You gotta keep on. You gotta keep on. You gotta keep on. Oh. You get what you put out. You get what you put out. You gotta keep on. You gotta keep on. You gotta keep on. Oh. This song is about endurance. It's about having the mental strength to keep going when you're at your lowest point. You know when you hit rock bottom that you can only go up from there. So let's keep up alive, y'all. You've got strength, but it don't matter. Cause every war's got a million battles. And you gotta want the fight as much as you want the way. And grip for the pain you feel and keep on. To Southern Avenue, thank you guys so much. Wow, that was lovely. Just that voice. The voice is just amazing. Wow. Um, it's time for our third cup of wine. Can you stand? Should we say all rise? No, I'm kidding. We're not rising. We're reclining. It's time to recline. If you don't know why, we recline. Once again. Go back and check it out. Uh, the third cup of wine for you at home. Here's some Manischewitz. I'm, I'm, no one's drinking this Manischewitz. This thing will be here till my son's bar mitzvah. Just saying. Okay, so the third cup of wine we've got from the Trey Band, Natalie Kresman and Ian Farcuni. Uh, they're going to bring out some really, really good music. This Brazilian funk that they've been, not funk, excuse me, Brazilian jazz that they've been doing. Now, go ahead, folks, bust out the good stuff off your wine shelf, off your liquor cabinet. Go ahead and grab a nice bottle because you're going to want to open it for this one. Natalie Kresman and guitarist vocalist Ian have been performing beautiful Brazilian jazz-influenced music, which you can stream live on Sundays, as well as check out the recent album, Setting Rays, available online Spotify, you know, wherever you get music. Uh, but for now, here's a beautiful piece that they wanted to share with everyone as we drink our third cup of wine. <laughs> Some 
covered lane and in your lonely flight haven't you heard the music of the was a great number. Thank you all for that. Highly recommend checking them out if you haven't done so. Also, please, as a reminder, visit consciousalliance.org slash COVID-19. Anything you can contribute is super, super helpful. Now it's time for the, for the search, the great search of the Afi Coleman, uh, in keeping with the family spirit of Passover. We welcome Dan Burns to the show with his daughter, Lulu. Now, if Lulu wasn't singing during this, I guarantee she'd be looking for the Afi Komen. And I'm pretty sure somewhere behind me, my son's going to be running around looking for the Afi Komen any minute now. Uh, Dan Byrne and his daughter, Lulu, please check out danburn.com to buy his new album, Quarantine Me. Uh, but for now, here's a little song about matzah ball soup. Hi, I'm Dan Byrne. Hi, I'm Lulu Byrne. Happy Passover. Happy Passover. I don't mean to pry, don't mean to snoop. Mama, are you cooking up matzo ball soup? Smells so good, chickens quit the coop. They're marching in step to that matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup, matzo ball soup. If you make a little more, you can send it to the troops. You can spoon it on a schooner, you can slip it on a sloop. Mama, keep making that matzo ball soup. Mama keep me making that matzo ball soup. It'll cure your cold, it'll kill the croup. Gonna get your head a spinning, gonna make your heart swoop. Well, if that's what you're cooking, Mama keep me in the loop. Pour me a bucket of that matzo ball soup. Mama keep me making that matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup, matzo ball soup. A soldier's way bolder with her matzo ball soup. If it's schmaltz that you're after, you're gonna wanna have to. Bon up, bon up, back to that matzo ball soup. Never met a man who wouldn't drink it from the can who wouldn't sip it from the shoe. Here's what you do. You're never gonna slouch, you're never gonna stoop If you keep on slurping that matzo ball soup When the law says halt or I'm I gonna shoot Blast him with a taste of that matzo ball soup If you trace us all back to our primordial roots Turns out we were all a bunch of matzo ball soup Matzo ball soup, matzo ball soup Try club solo if your balls start to droop Your hair will grow long, you won't even Lots of lots of matzo, that's a matzo ball soup. Lots of lots of matzo, that's a matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup, matzo ball soup. Ain't no fluke, I'm a cute and cash root. Pour me up a barrel, spoon it in my boot. Mama keep me making that matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup, matzo ball soup. Lots of lots of matzo, that's a matzo ball soup. Mama keep me making that matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup. Mama keep me making that matzo ball soup. By Rosie Almond, Judah Almond, Aaron Almond, and Dan Burns. Hot a lot of matzo, that's a matzo ball soup. Hot a lot of matzo, that's a matzo ball soup. Mama keep making that matzo ball soup.
Thank you, Dan. That was awesome. Thank you, Lulu. And you know, if you are feeling it now, you could definitely feel it soon because it's time for the fourth cup of wine. And to get us through that fourth cup of wine, Let's go all the way across the country and check in with Dan Lebowitz from ALO, who's in San Francisco, California. Now, Lebo has been keeping busy, super, super busy as a father at home doing the homeschooling, as well as somehow finding the time to create new music and even got on a call with Inside Out WTNS, the podcast, to uh, talk about what he's doing and talk about his, what's going on and a little check-in with Dan Lebowitz. It's going to be available tomorrow on all podcast platforms. Uh, Lebo is doing several streams a week, all of which can be found at jambase.com live streams. So jambase.com slash live streams, as well as on alo.com. If you haven't donated yet, please consider making that donation. Go to Conscious Alliance COVID-19 Response Fund. That's consciousalliance.org slash COVID-19. Uh, Dan is going to try to, we're still in Egypt, folks. And with his help, maybe we'll be able to get out. So let my people go. Another rendition. This one done by Dan Lebowitz. Hey, everybody. Lebo here. Hope you are staying safe in these crazy times. And uh, Chag Sameach to everybody. Uh, here's a song for you. Israel was an Egypt land, let my people go. Press so hard they could not stand, let my people go. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land. everybody stay safe out there Chag Sameach. hey Lebo thank you so much sir thank you so much that was wonderful it's time we open the door for Elijah hopefully not the plagues so I don't have blood on my door don't don't get mad at me on that one but uh to do that to sing Eliyahu we've got Moe's Al Schneer and by the way if you like learning the guitar or like his guitar playing, learn from the masters, livelessonmasters.com. Al is doing that. So let's go ahead and open the door for Elijah. Thank you. 
Thank you, Al. That was awesome. Way, great way to end it, uh, end this virtual Seder. Thank you all at home. If you're still with us, thank you so much. Uh, by now, you should be a little tipsy. If not, uh, well, you know what? Get that wine because I don't want to hear you whining about it later. Um, what a night this has been. Thank you all so much for joining us for the virtual Seder. I'm going to leave this up to you, so feel free to share with your friends and family. We're going to leave it up up, you know, we'll have the video up. So please feel free to share this uh, and have others enjoy the virtual Seder as well. Thank you all who were able to make a contribution to Conscious Alliance's COVID-19 response fund. And again, if you haven't done so yet, please consider making a donation at consciousalliance.org slash COVID-19. They're doing an amazing, amazing work. And they're only able to do, to continue doing this with your help. So your support's super, super helpful. If you can give, please consider giving. Another big thank you to Career Up Now. Uh, they're a nonprofit organization with a mission to empower emerging professionals to advance in their careers through innovative networking and education opportunities with Jewish industry leaders. You can find out more about them at careerupnow.org. And a big thanks to, the Osi to Osiris Media jambase.com and of course nugs.net for streaming this thanks nugs really appreciate that huge thank you to all the musicians that took their time to contribute to this and to eric for producing this video eric thank you so much and from your rockshineer i want to wish you your family your friends and yes even the strangers in your neighborhood a very happy and healthy passover for those not celebrating passover happy easter and in conclusion can you all join me in saying, Shalom, next year in Jerusalem.